In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the new loopback feature on the Scarlet third generation devices. Loopback also features on the following devices. The Clout range, which also uses Focusrite control, and the Sapphire range, but this uses Sapphire mix control. If you're using a Sapphire, please see the link in the description below for instructions on how to set up loopback. But later on in this video, I will mention where you can locate the loopback information for the Sapphire range. Loopback is a virtual input that allows you to record system audio such as Zoom, Skype, Teams or Hangouts back into your door. Perfect for recording podcasts, interviews and meetings. To be clear, in this video I'll be demonstrating recording a call from Zoom into a door. I'll be using Pro Tools first, but this method will work with all major doors. Make sure you have the latest version of Focusrite Control, which is available for free from the download section of our website. Having your device selected under pick your product by type and download the relevant installer based on your operating system. Before we get started, we're going to have the Scarlet 3rd Gen Focusrite Control user guide at the ready for later. We need this to identify our loopback door inputs. You can access this from the My Hardware page by selecting user guide, having your 3rd Gen device selected under pick your product by type and then selecting the user guides banner. Once you've identified the appropriate language and then selected download, the user guide should open. In the contents page, underneath the mixer section, you're going to see hardware inputs available on Scarlet Devices, page 13. Double click the text to get to page 13. Identify your interface from the top row and look down to where it says loopback 1 and loopback 2. Look to the left and identify the corresponding inputs. For the 4i4, this is going to be inputs 5 and 6. For the 8i6, it's 9 and 10. For the 18i8, it's 11 and 12. And for the 18i20, it's 9 and 10. Keep this page open as you'll need it for later on in this tutorial. For sapphires, the same applies. Select your sapphire product under pick your product type. Select the user guides banner. Go into the user guide area. Find the relevant language. Select download. And the user guide should open. Once it's opened, scroll down to the contents page and locate Sapphire Pro Architecture. Scroll down to the page number and you'll see a diagram with a table underneath. The corresponding door loopback inputs will be next to where it says loopback 1 and 2. Now open Focusrite Control and you should land on the output routing page. On the left hand side you'll see your outputs. Your monitor outputs 1 and 2, line outputs 3 and 4, and somewhere near the bottom you should see loopback 1 and 2. Select the audio source you wish to loop back into your door. The default is set to 1 and 2. This is the configuration you're most likely to use. Now open up your door. I'll start off by creating my loopback track and setting it to stereo. I'll be naming this track Zoom Loopback. Now set the correct inputs on the track within the door from the loopback feed. As you select your inputs, depending on the door, loopback may already appear, named as loopback or loop 1 and 2, like here. In some other cases, it may appear as another input number, depending on your Scarlet interface. For example, when I open up a door like GarageBand, the inputs appear numbered but not named. So as I'm using a 3rd gen Scarlet 8i6, I'm going to be setting the inputs for the track within GarageBand to stereo inputs 9 and 10. If you're unsure on what inputs you need to use, refer back to page 13 of the Focusrite Control user guide for third generation Scarlet devices. Before we test our loopback, remember to make sure you mute your loopback tracks even during recording. Because we're recording computer audio back into the door, a feedback loop will be created, potentially damaging your speakers or your ears. To test the loopback feed, monitor enable the track and find some system audio you can play from another application. For example, I'm going to be using the volume adjustment from the Windows taskbar, as I know it makes a short ding sound upon change. You should be able to see a short and snappy input signal coming into the meter of the track, like this. Before we open up Zoom, I'm going to be adding another audio track for the microphone I'll be using for the Zoom call. This will be a mono track and I'll be naming it Microphone. As my microphone is plugged into input 1 of the Scarlet interface, I'll be setting the track input to input 1, which it already is. 
make sure you mute this track as well. A quick tap of the microphone will ensure a signal is coming through on the meter, like here. Now open up Zoom. We'll begin by establishing our audio settings. Go to the top right hand corner of the Zoom window, select the settings gear icon and then select audio. We're looking at two areas, speaker and microphone. For Windows, make sure the speaker is set to your Scarlett. You can test the audio coming out of your Scarlett by selecting Test Speaker, and a short melody will play. Now make sure your microphone is set to Scarlett as well. You can check the microphone is working by speaking into it and looking at the input level. You should be able to see a signal coming through the meter as you speak. For Mac, make sure the speaker is set to your Scarlett. You can test the audio coming out of your Scarlett by selecting Test Speaker, and a short melody will play. Now make sure your microphone is set to Scarlett as well. You can check the microphone is working by speaking into it and looking at the input level. You should be able to see a signal coming through the meter as you speak. Before we get started, I'm going to record arm both tracks and make sure they're muted. I'm now going to hit record and call my colleague John via Zoom. He works at Focusrite as well, and we've been using Zoom a lot during this lockdown period, and it's been useful using this method to record our meetings. So as you can see, I've got John here with me on Zoom in the bottom right hand corner. If you can just say something for me, please, John. Hey, how's it going? So looking at Pro Tools, you can tell that both bits of audio are completely separate. John is coming into the first track, which is my loopback feed that I created for Zoom. And I'm being recorded into the second track, which is my own microphone. This makes it much easier to edit all of your audio. Cheers, John. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. My microphone doesn't interrupt his feed, even during the Zoom call. This is great for mixing and editing podcasts, interviews and meetings. But don't forget you can use it to record any other system audio as well, like from your browser. Remember, as I mentioned earlier, to make sure this process runs as smoothly as possible, mute all the channels within the door. This avoids the creation of a feedback loop, potentially damaging your speakers or ears, and won't let you record clearly. If you have any issues with this tutorial, you can contact support using the link below.